Hey guys, welcome back. So today, I'm very excited because we are doing my Sephora VIB sale haul. Now, I was so freaking excited to see that they upped the spring sale to 20%. That is the best thing I've ever heard of my entire life. I am always so bummed when it's 15%. Like, it just, it's not enough. And honestly, 20% is not enough either. However, it's something and I'll take it. So... I don't know why I'm talking so fast. I did just have a nerd slushy from Sonic, so that sugar might be hitting me, but that's okay. I'm so excited. I got so many goodies. I got so much stuff that I did not need, but I have been looking at forever. I will link my wish list video down below in case you're interested. Also up in the eye, is it up here? I think it's up here. I'm always wrong. No, it's up here. I know it's up here. <laughs> Watch me be wrong. Oh my God. One day, one day I will figure it out, you guys. One day I'll be like a real YouTuber and I'll actually know what the hell I'm talking about. Anyways, um, yeah, I got so much stuff that I've been looking at for literally ever and I'm so excited to dig in. Can I just say, this is the biggest box, it keeps going, that I've ever received from Sephora in my entire life. Yes, I just hit that. What well, it I didn't know they made boxes this big. Like I usually get like the the little tiny boxes. Not this monster. I, this is like a moving box. <laughs> so yeah. I got some goodies. Oh my god, this is so hard to down. Okay, so let's start with the stuff I picked up in store and then we'll move into the stuff that I got online. Um so the first thing I picked up was this bad boy. This is just a refill for me. It's the IGK First Class Charcoal Detox Dry Shampoo. I love this. Um, my hair gets real greasy, real fast. This is second day hair, and it is already looking not cute. Um, and this is the only, only shampoo, dry shampoo that cuts through my greasiness and actually does something. Um, so I've really, really been enjoying this, and these cans last forever for me. I do not use them every day. Usually, by third day, I have my hair up in either a half pony or a full pony or a bun or something. Like, I don't, I don't let my third hair day fly. Um, it's definitely got to be up, but second day hair, I really enjoy this. So I definitely go through these fairly slowly, but I know that I am getting close to the end online. So I went ahead and picked up a new one. Um, another repurchase for me is the Sol de Janeiro hand cream. I love this. This is like my favorite hand cream ever. It is really, really moisturizing. It smells good, but it, I think it's water-based, so it like really sinks in really, really quickly and doesn't leave a greasy film on your finger, so you can immediately start texting, scrolling through Instagram, open doors, all that stuff without leaving like little fingerprints everywhere which I really enjoy because I really, I don't like lotions that like leave a film behind. It's really gross. So I had to get another one of these and this is perfect timing because I literally just finished the one that I keep in my bathroom. So good timing. I might actually pick up another one of these before the sale ends just because I've been wanting to keep one in my purse. Um, so I might have to do that. Next up, um, I picked up the NARS Smudge Proof Eyeshadow Base. Um, I, I don't know, I was just kind of curious to try a new one. I do not need any more eye primers. I have like a million in my drawer right now. I'll actually link a video down below where I went through and talked about all of my um, eyeshadow primers that I have that I've been testing and kind of rank them between the best and the worst and everything. Um, but I've heard Casey Holmes talk about this one a lot and she has really oily eyelids as well. So I figured I would give this one a shot, especially since we're coming into summer and that's when my eyelids get their absolute worst, so I really hope this does something. <laughs> um, I went a little crazy with glowy lip products. I've had such a thing for glowy pink lips lately. I don't know why, and obviously that's as I'm wearing a matte nude red-brown color. Yeah, that makes sense. Um, but recently I've just had such a thing for like a natural glowy pink lip. Um, so I went a little crazy on buying some. I got the NARS Orgasm Lip 
oil infused lip tint. Okay, a couple things. First of all, I need to exchange this one, I think. Let me know down below if you guys have tried this product and if yours has little chunks of stuff in it. Um, I have not seen literally anybody talk about these chunks online. I looked at the Sephora reviews, I looked at videos online, I looked at people's Instagram stories. No one is saying that they have little white chunks in their oil and mine does and it's kind of gross and it like comes out of the package and like it's all over my lips and I don't like it so I might need to exchange mine I don't know I might go into store and like open up a few if they won't like kick me off for doing that and see if like it's a normal thing um but I tried it the other day oh my god it's so nice it's so thick oil moisturizing delicious um a lot of people online said that there's like like disappeared really quickly and it wasn't that tinted and like it's not that tinted but it's like an oil lip tint so I don't know what people are really expecting um I really like it so far um I also picked up the Fenty Beauty gloss balm in Fussy which I'm so excited about I have the other two and I really like the original not so much a fan of the diamond milk but I really think I'm going to like this one so there's a swatch of it right there just a normal light pink glossy lip um, super glossy. I love this formula. It's so thick and luxurious but not sticky and it lasts for actually a really good time so I really like this one. Um, and then I also picked up the Tarte Rainforest of the Sea Quench Lip Rescue in Pink Sands. This is their limited edition one that they just came out with. I didn't know that they have like six other colors in this. No clue. I have the clear, which I love, and I keep in my bag like at all times. But they came out with this limited edition pink one for, I don't know, turtles or something. Marine powered. Yeah, they always, you know, they always come out with that like marine uh, themed charity collection every year. Um, so this is part of this one. Um, it's just a clear pink gloss. There's right there, pretty much exactly the same as the gloss balm, but that's okay. I really like this formula. It's really like slick and thin, but really moisturizing and just really nice and makes your lips really glossy. Um, and I'm really excited to have a tinted version. Uh, like I said, they have like six other colors, so if this pink shade isn't your jam. Um, they have nude ones. I think they have like a more red one. They have lots of different ones. So definitely check those out. Um, as always, everything that I mentioned will be linked and listed down below in case you're interested. Um, I did pick up a, another uh, small version of my all-time favorite perfume, Victor and Rolf Flower Balm. One day I will pick up a full size. One day. Um, I don't know when that'll be. I, I can't imagine spending uh, so much money. So much money. Like, I can't. Um, but I love this perfume. If I can get it open, it doesn't matter. Um, so I bought just, that, like, a little travel size spritzer. I just, I love this perfume, and it's so good. And yes, I know that it makes more sense to buy the full size than the tiny little travel size, because, you know, money-wise, it, like, breaks down better. But I just, can't, I can't drop a hundred and, what, $25 on, on a perfume. One day we'll see um if you watched my wish list video i talked about wanting some like hair clips so that i could style my hair easier because it's very thick and i need to like hold things up um i was going to get the uh dry bar ones the like alligator yeah alligator draw clips uh but those are like 16 dollars. and then when i was walking around sephora i saw these from the sephora brand they were ten dollars so six dollars cheaper exact same thing and in a, in a cuter color they're like a rose gold mauve mix um it's a four set it was only ten dollars i thought they were pretty cute and they're gonna do the job so i was cool with it and then the last thing that i picked up in store what's this bad boy this is the mark jacobs runway omega glaze all over foil luminizer 
as soon as I saw this online. I literally, I saw this like 20 minutes after I placed my online order, which is just, it's so my luck, you know? Um, but as soon as, as I saw it, wow, I can't get words out. I knew I needed it. Um, so I picked this up. Sorry if you can hear my husband. He is just going at it on video games right now. Um, oh, that's nice. I didn't know that their little cover was like a full on like emblemized, emblemized? That's not a word. Um, it has their emblem on it or name. It wouldn't be an emblem because that's a symbol, right? Anyways, um, how freaking beautiful. My camera can't even pick up because it's so shiny. Um, it's gorgeous. It's got the exact same like situation as the bronzer. This is a massive highlighter. Like nobody needs this much highlighter, but I'm kind of excited about it. Um, oh, it's so soft and smooth. So that's it swatched right there. Just kind of like quickly smudged out. But it's so pretty. It looks so like wet almost. I'm so freaking excited about this, you guys. You don't even know. Uh, I didn't get too much makeup, but let me know down below if you'd like to see like a get ready with me with these products or if you'd want to see like a just dedicated review. If you just want me to pop them into like my favorites video, whatever you want, let me know. Um, so yeah, I'm really, really excited about that. And it's of course in their iconic black packaging. So that's everything that I got in store. Now I'm going to move on to online. Um, one thing I wanted to mention, I was going to buy this online. However, like two days before the sale started, this entire collection just disappeared off the Sephora website. Just poof, gone, never to be seen from again. So I picked it up from the brand's website and I figured I'd go ahead and show it because I was going to buy it anyways. This is the Ciate London Jessica Rabbit collection. I just got the highlighter. I love Jessica Rabbit. I mean, who doesn't? She was a badass. Plus, she was beautiful and she was sexy, sexy and she knew it and she didn't care and she didn't take no shit and I just, I love her, okay? So, this is the highlighter that they came out with. It's got her gorgeous little mug right there and then you open it and it's actually got her face See if my camera will pick this up. It's got her face in the highlighter. How cool is that? So I knew, I knew I had to have it as soon as I saw it was a thing. I definitely was not gonna get the shimmery lipstick or the eyeshadow palette, but I'm always down for another highlighter. Um, I actually, I'm going to keep it in the pack sheet. I don't know how much use I'm gonna get out of it because like, I don't wanna ruin her face in the product, but. I figured I'd mention it because I'm really excited that I have it. I love Jessica Rabbit. So next up, I got a mask and I was just going to order the mask and then I went on the sale section and I saw that they had a kit that was on sale, which was not on sale in my store, which I find odd. Um, this is the Glow Recipe Avocado Sleep Set. So it's got their little avocado melt sleep mask down here as well as a cute little a uh, sleep mask is normally $45. I got it for $39, so not a crazy deal, but still on sale. I mean, plus the 20% off of that. Uh, I just thought that was really cute, and it was on sale, and I like getting things on sale <laughs> during the sales. It's my, my favorite thing. I feel like I'm getting, like, an Uber deal. Um, so I'm really excited to try this mask out. Um, it sounds really nice. It's avocado, honey, and PHA to moisturize and firm for skin recovery all in one jar. It just sounds amazing. So I did pick that up. As well as the dry bar uh, bouncer diffuser, which I told you guys in my, rec not recommendations, I didn't do a recommendation, my wish list video that I really wanted to pick up. Um, I don't usually like my hair diffused, but I'm gonna play around with it and try and like see what it's like. Um, so picked that up. I only picked up a couple makeup products, so I'm going to go ahead and get those out of the way. I picked up one of the Charlotte Tilbury Eyes to Mesmerize Long Lasting Eye Color. Um, I got mine in the shade Marie Antoinette. This is the one that Jessica Braun is always raving about. Um, of course, the day I posted or I made my order, she posted a video basically saying that uh, 
she didn't think these were good for oily eyelids. That's okay. Still love her. That's fine. That's fine. I wish you could have come to that conclusion like a month ago, last time you mentioned it, but that's fine. Anyways, um, yeah, so I picked this up. I really hope that I don't hate it because that would kind of suck, but it looks really, 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 really pretty. Um, let's just take a little, little swatchy poo here. Oh, that's pretty. It's just a really basic, kind of like neutral, cool tone bronziness. Oh, look at that, that's so pretty. I think I'm gonna like this color on my eyes. She said that she really likes it for like her one shadow look days. And I've actually really been into those situations lately. So uh, I'm really excited to try it that way, even if it's not great for oily eyelids. That's okay, I'll figure it out. Next up, I got the Fenty Beauty Bronzer, their Sun Stalker Bronzer. I got mine in uh, India Sun. When I first saw it online, I thought it was India Sun. And then I watched a couple of videos of people talking about it, and they kept saying India. And I'm like, why are they saying India? And then I went back online, and it's India. <laughs> so there's the bronzer right there. This is the lightest one they have, and it's supposed to be like a neutral situation. So I'm really excited to try it out. A lot of people said they loved it on their fair skin, so I have high hopes, as well as I have like a pile of makeup and boxes in front of me. Um, the new Marc Jacobs Accomplice Instant Blurring Beauty Powder. Um, I was not going to get this, I was totally like, I don't need another powder, like I don't even use powder that much, until I saw Kathleen Lights talk about it, and she said she really enjoyed it, so... Guess who had to jump on the bandwagon and get it also? Um, so this is... Can someone please tell me why their highlighter is this big and their face powder is this big? Literally, like, at least half the size. Can... Can somebody explain that to me? Because that... That doesn't seem right. Um, it's really cute and it would probably be good for, like, throwing in your purse for touch-ups, which is what I pretty much plan to do. Um, it does have this cute little brush that like slides, here, let me see if I can do it again, slides into the top and it's like magnetized in there. That's really cool. Um, I don't know how much use I'll get out of this because it does seem a little like odd, but it's really cute. Um, so yeah, my plan was pretty much just to throw it in my bag and use it for touch-ups and if I, you know, maybe get a little shiny when it's all hot and sweaty outside. Um, but that's really exciting. It's basically just supposed to be like a shiny face powder, kind of like the Hourglass ones, which I'm always down for. All right, and then to finish this off, I have a couple skincare products. Um, this first one is actually a hair care. It's the Briogeo Scalp Revival Charcoal and Tea Tree Scalp Treatment. So I do have a, I don't know if it's a dry scalp or an overly moisturized scalp because dandruff can come from both um, but my scalp has dandruff and it's really really annoying and it's itchy so I figured I would try this bad boy out it's just like a little serum that you put on your scalp you rub it in you do not rinse it out I believe yeah you don't rinse it out and uh, you put it in after washing your hair before styling so hopefully it's not gonna make my hair like gross looking um, so I'm going to be trying this out in the coming weeks, hoping that maybe it gives me some sort of relief for this itchy scalp, because I am so done with little flecks of dandruff sitting in my part. It's really, really annoying. Next up, I picked up the, next up I picked up, the Pharmacy Honeymoon, Gl Honeymoon Glow AHA Resurfacing Night Serum. Um... I have been looking at this for a really long time and it's not a new product. Pretty much everybody raved about it like what six months ago and I never got around to picking it up because it was like $58. Um, I can't get this stupid box to open. Open! There we go. Um, this is basically just a uh, chemical exfoliating serum that is going to make you all smooth and shiny and glowy and beautiful. So 
definitely going to try that out. I did get a couple of different uh, skincare products and I know you have to, or I, it's smart to not immediately go in with all the different skincare products. So it's going to be a long couple of weeks for me trying all these out, but hopefully I'll be able to give you my thoughts soon. Okay, so next up I have the Herbivore Emerald CBD Cannabis Sativa Deep Moisture Glow Oil. Now, they actually have two of these. They have one that they released a while ago, and they have a new one that just came out. The new one has ad adapt adaptogens. Where's my phone? I got the new one, basically. Let me look it up real fast. Let me look it up real fast. Yeah, so they, they're both the... CBD Deep Moisture Glow Oil. However, they have one, the one I got, which has adaptogens in it, and it is $10 more than the original one. Um, and I believe, it doesn't say how much, but I think the new one has more uh, CBD in it because it says that it's an oil with 100 milligrams full sp spectrum CBD hemp seed oil and adaptogens to visibly calm the look of redness and nourish skin with lasting hydration. Um, so I figured I'd go ahead and go with the new one, see if I like it. I don't know what adaptogens are, but maybe they're good. They're $10 more than the original, so I hope it's good. <laughs> um, so I picked that up and then I think this is the last product. Yes, and the last product I have is the Super Goop Unseen Sunscreen. Broad Spectrum SPF 40. So it's a weightless, colorless, scentless, oil-free formula for face that smooths the appearance of pores, grips makeup in place to leave a velvety, soft finish, perfect for all skin tones. Um, so it's supposed to be a clear sunscreen, which I know is like really big and like cool because um, normal sunscreens can leave a white cast on people of color. So um, a clear sunscreen is really, really cool, plus it's basically made to go under makeup, so, um, it's not going to mess with your makeup and cause a bunch of, like, weird things happen. Um, yeah, so it is completely clear. It's like a gel and a nice little squeezy tube, so you can just throw it in your bag if you need to. Um, it's really nice and thin. Doesn't feel super gross, doesn't feel like sunscreen. Smells like sunscreen though, so keep that in mind. <laughs> Definitely smells like sunscreen. Smells good though. I like the smell of sunscreen. So that is everything that I got from Sephora for the VIP sale in the spring. I hope you guys liked today's video. Let me know down below what you picked up. I don't know why I always do that. Uh, but definitely let me know down, down below what you guys picked up. Uh, if you have tried anything that I talked about here today, please let me know your thoughts down below so I know what I'm getting myself into. Uh, but other than that, I hope you guys will hit that subscribe button if you like these types of videos, and I'll catch you on the next one.